Um, well, I would just start with uh, the scriptures, 1 Timothy chapter 3. Um, so if I'm looking for a, a worship leader who's a pastor, I want to start there. Um, so just read through those character qualities of, uh, of a pastor, of an overseer. Um, you know, you might break it down in terms of his, uh, his character. Um, so he's above reproach. He's not perfect, but he is an example that you could hold up to other people. Um, you look at his family life. Um, is, he, is he loving his wife well? If he's married, does he uh, uh, train his children well? Does he manage his household well? And then uh, on a skill level, uh, you know, Paul talks about teaching, the ability to teach. So if we might transfer that to uh, the worship leader, uh, is, he, is he skilled in, in communicating uh, the scriptures, both uh, via song, but also um, from the stage in between songs and, and various other platforms throughout the, the church's life where he might be able to, uh, to teach the scriptures. So I would start there. Um, I think also a worship leader who's a pastor doesn't have uh, a siloed ministry. So he's, he's not exclusively you know, in the music department, um, but he's involved really in the, the body life of the church, um, which probably feeds into another point, and that is he's, he's in touch with the congregation as a whole. Um, I think that's important on a number of levels. Um, shepherds know their sheep. Uh, they're aware of the, the needs of the sheep. I think that's going to be really important when it comes to song selection, but also just in terms of how do you love uh, the flock well. So uh, I don't want to see a guy just hanging out in a green room, you know, not, not being involved in the, in the life of the church. And um, so with that, I, I think I would encourage uh, the, this, the worship pastor to be accessible. Um, he's often viewed as inaccessible, as someone on the platform, rock star, or whatever. Um, but I, I want to see him out there, again, uh, mingling with the people. Um, uh, and then finally, I would just say, uh, I think a good worship pastor communicates well. Um, both to, to people, but also among the other pastors, um, just uh, uh, giving feedback, asking questions, expressing concerns, you know, um, burdens, just like any other pastor would. Uh, I think it's important that the, the worship pastor be, be communicating uh, well and often in, in a variety of contexts.